Okay, to briefly recap where we left off in the prior video, we covered campaign settings of a search campaign and I walked you through the critical settings for your search campaign, which you can access in here with this little gear icon. Remember, Google Ads is organized very logically with campaigns at the top level followed by ad groups and ads and keywords. The campaign level is where we set the type of campaign we're running when we first create a new campaign. And in this case, it was a search. But if you go and create a new campaign, you could choose video ad, performance, max, and others. So we also set which networks will run on. And in this case, it's going to be obviously a search campaign. So you can access networks right here. We made sure to not have display network checked. So we unchecked that. We also set our geotargeting, which you can access under the tab under locations. Click advanced search and you can pull up the map and change where your ads are showing. Um, then we talked about uh, budgets. You can change your budget here. Languages can be English uh, primarily um, or Spanish as well. Bidding, we chose maximize conversions and then start and end dates as well. If you want to set an end date, typically I don't set end dates. And then everything else under additional settings, we left to default. So let's close out of that. Now we're moving down to ad groups within our search campaign. There's not a lot at this level we need to do other than create one or more ad groups, which we'll build ads and add keywords to after this step. So the next logical, logical question is, how many ad groups should I create? So ad groups should be based on themes of related ads and keywords. So um, for example, if you offer facials as a service, you might have an ad group for facials. If you offer microneedling, you might have a service for microneedling since those are two distinct services. So you would create two ad groups. If a service has distinct differences in terms of features and benefits, it should likely be a separate ad group. Now, the other consideration has to do with your budget. So if your budget is $20 per day or less, I would start with one ad group or service theme, such as facials or massage or microneedling, just one, whatever that happens to be, you decide which is most in demand, the most popular service for you. That's really the one, if you're only gonna run one, that you should likely start with. If you create too many ad groups with not enough budget, your ad spend becomes diluted across too many ads and keywords, it's just not effective, and you don't send, you don't send enough data for the campaigns to ever really optimize. So. It's more effective to focus your ad spend into one. Again, if it's $20 or less a day, I would focus on one ad group. So let's click into this campaign. And now we're at the ad group. You can see that over here on the left. We're in the ad group. You can rename that really. This is naming convention. So you can name it whatever you want. It has no bearing on anything. Uh, so let's rename that to just as an example here. Let's say I do you know, lash, lash extensions, and then just hit save. If you want to create a new ad group, you would do that right here. And go ahead, rename it. Um, you can enter a URL to scan for that. Um, and it'll pull in some keywords you can save and continue. But in this case, we're not going to create a, another ad group. So I'll go ahead and hit cancel. Okay, so that's really it for the ad group module. It's short and sweet. It really is just a container that is going to hold our ads and ad and our keywords.